Hello, welcome to this uh, edition of Greats of the Gridiron tutorial. We were going to talk about creating a run play, two types basically, a pitch as well as a handoff. The main difference between the two, uh, obviously away from uh, what standardized football is, is the fact that in our game uh, you will have to have the guys the quarterback and the halfback really almost on top of each other. You'll see the timing of it and the timing on the pitch play. So let's first uh, break down a couple of things. And number one, I'm going to pull the tackle out here really quick and just show you um, the key thing to pay attention to, which is the run and pass block. So PA means pass block aggressive. RA means run block aggressive. The primary difference is when you're run blocking, you're going to try and directionally push somebody a certain direction along this path. Um, with the pass block, you're trying to basically uh, create a pocket and keep a blocker from getting past you. So you're not really concerned about driving them. You're just more concerned about having them bounce off you and keep them from the quarterback. That next is what I want to talk about is the aggressiveness. Aggressive means that any player that will cross this path or within about maybe a yard of this path, this tackle would go after and try to, uh, try to block. If I take it off and use the aggressive here on this, the let's make this a run. The it's now run non-aggressive. What that really is not saying that he's not going to be aggressive. What it means is that he will ignore everybody along his path until he gets to the end of it. So if this strong safety here, strong size linebacker, I'm sorry, were to cross him here, he's not going to engage the block here. He's going to ignore him and get and only start blocking when he gets here. The purpose of that is so that you can get your tackles and guards to pull and block without getting bogged up in the backfield blocking other defensive tackles and other people that might be here. So that's the purpose of that. Now that we have that out of the way, let's assign some instructions. Uh, you can pretty much do this any way you want. I usually just have my wide receivers out here blocking. Get them all out of the way first. Uh, da -da 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 -da. And then let's bring the tight end up here. Get him clearing out here. We'll do an outside run and let's give the halfback there and then we'll have the tackle come up here and block aggressively and again we're going to push this guy this way. We want him to probably, oops, probably push him that way. We'll have the fullback come through here and attack this way and he is going to do the same. He's going to push that way and see if we can get a nice little hold open up here. We'll have the guard uh, we'll have the guard here. We'll have him go straight through. We'll have the center. Now you need to always hike the ball with the center. So use this to hike it. Then you can do whatever you want with the center. We're going to actually pull our center. He's at 70 speed. He may not make it. Let's see what happens. And he'll just pull along here and then pop through as well. And actually what I'm going to do is change the fullback to take out anybody along this path. And then our guard here will just come over here a little bit. And the tackle, same thing. Okay, uh, then we're going to try this, and we just this is where it gets a little bit tricky. We got to get it so that the quarterback and the halfback are close enough and at the same place to get the handoff. Let's see if we've done it. We did it on that one. Nope, we did not do it. So what you can do is you can decrease the, the speed of the play right there. 
we can wheel in on the mouse and we can use the R to start the play by the way this also starts it stop rewind or reset I use the R to uh, start it T to stop it Y button on the keyboard to reset it and you'll see we're going slower you got it off there you got it off there let's slow it down just a little bit he's getting it off but it's not quite right let's just do this here I want to show you what what happens if he is not in the right spot so there that's what you'll see um, if he is not in the right spot at the right time so I just wanted to make you guys let you guys see that and what you can do if you're not there it looks like I'm a little bit too close and if that was the case, I wanted to make this a little bit better of a play. I'm going to just drag him, sorry about that, drag him off a little bit right there. And when it clears the stress down, I'm just going to pause him. Now I have half a second, quarter of a second, tenth of a second, and five tenths of a second. I'm going to pause him. At this point, it looks like about a tenth of a second. So control and click. And you'll see he's now waiting in the backfield. So he's going to wait a tenth of a second before making his break and then he'll go and that timing should be a little bit better yeah that looks a little bit better so I'll just hit uh, I'll reset the time and there we go everybody's being blocked not bad so that's that now if we want to do a pitch play we do this we just drop him back a little bit and then have him pitch it right there. Let's see how that looks. There we go. It's a little bit ahead of him. So what I'm going to do is hit that and then bring that. I'm going to actually take off the pause. And so I'm going to just run him through like this. I also want to, there we go. That looks much better. Uh, so you can also have your quarterback. Uh, we, I mean, we could have the we could have the halfback here, in fact, and we can bring um, fullback here so that he's actually blocking. Do something like this, and you could clear him out. You could have him pitch it here. Bring him here, a little bit of a set there. Have him wait a little bit and get another type of pitch here. There we go. So again, you can play around with that, and that's a good way. Oop, it's a good way to get out of the backfield really quick. Okay, that is the essence of making a run play. When you're done with it, you can save the play. You can make a new play. You can save as a new play. Whatever you want to do, run, name it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Thank you.